Why's your why, why's your zipper or your buttons down in your crotch? <laughs> well, I probably just forgot. Okay. Come back here. You have a bunch of kids in the, in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is just my friend. On July 5th of last year, a disturbing traffic stop was made in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Officers noticed a suspect, later identified as Jeremy Guthrie, speeding across multiple lanes of highway before taking a very dangerous turn. Little did they know that Jeremy's frantic driving wasn't the least of their concern. Hey there. Hello. How are you? All right. Just all right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Should you license? Yeah. There's your wallet right there between your legs. Been nervous. So was I, the way you're driving? Huh? I said. You mentioned that you were nervous? Right. I was nervous while I was behind you driving down I 40. You were in lane number one at times. You went all the way from lane number one all the way over. Didn't use a signal. Had problems keeping the, your, 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 your vehicle one lane. And then when you merge on from uh, westbound 40 to northbound 25, you took that curve way too fast. I did. I, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I thought you were going to crash. No, I don't. I didn't say. I don't think so. I'm just saying I thought you were going to crash. The sergeant notices there are kids in the car, of which officials later confirmed were between the age of 13 and 15 years old. Knowing Jeremy's history, this is a concern to the sergeant. Okay, and then you have a bunch of kids in the car. How many kids? You have one, two, three, four, five, six. Who are these kids to you? Uh, this is my friend. That's your friend? Yeah. How old's your friend? 18. That girl's not 18? Huh? That girl's not 18? Yeah. No, she's not. No, I don't think she is. That girl's not 18, trust me. She don't look 18. Ma'am, how old are you? I didn't ask you your name, I asked you how old, how old you were. Jeremy, turn the car off and come back here and talk to me. All right. Let me see the keys. Thank you. Since the sergeant finds the whole situation shady, he asks Jeremy to step out his vehicle. The sergeant notices that Jeremy's zipper is down. Why's your, why, why's your zipper or your buttons down in your crotch? <laughs> well, I probably just forgot. Okay. Come back here. Good? I'm good. Okay. Jeremy, how much you had to drink tonight? I haven't had anything to drink. Okay, I'm asking you again. Okay, you can barely stand still. Your speech is slurred. I've never heard you speak. You have a strong odor of, of, of an alcoholic beverage admitting for keeping your pockets. Yeah, but you, you have a, yeah, yeah, you actually have an overwhelming odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath. I know I haven't been drinking. So how much have you been drinking? Based on your driving, you're driving like, like a total idiot. How much have you had to drink? Jeremy first lies that he had anything to drink, but later confesses to drinking earlier that night. I messed up. Gotcha. And I did. Because. But I haven't been drinking. Can you explain why I can smell from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me? The, what is that? Can you explain to me? Well, I can smell the strong odor of an alcoholic beverage emitting from your breath every time you breathe and talk to me. Explain that odor. Well, I don't even know. 
I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, I haven't had anything to, to drink. When did you last drink? Like, probably, um, it's been, a, it's been a little while. Like an hour? I would say it's more than an yeah, Like more maybe than, two? Yeah. R like, roughly? Okay. Like two hours. Like, That's fair. Because you know what, two hours? It's totally is is totally different than no. I haven't been drinking. You know what I mean? Yeah. But I we'll, mean, that's uh, okay. No, that's okay. We're not we're not gonna argue I about mean, it. Uh, I mean, I know what I smell. I know what I hear. I know what I see. Okay. Simple as that. I mean, yeah. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, you already did. You said I haven't been drinking. And then I kind of played you. Said was it an hour ago? It's like no, longer. Two hours? Yeah. It's been a few hours. Okay. I mean... Uh, gotcha. Well... I mean... We're not going to argue about that. I mean, I know what I smell. Okay? Do you think you're safe to drive? Do you think you're safe to drive? Yeah. You do? Absolutely. Once again, you and I will disagree on that, too. I don't think you're safe to drive. Just based on, just based on, on, on how you're driving. When the sergeant again asks Jeremy about the kids in the car, he has another crazy response. I, I mean, do you normally hang out with people who, who are young? Not, not, how, uh, how old are you? I'm 41. 41, okay. Hang tight right there, okay? Because Jeremy lied before, the sergeant asks the kids their ages. I mean, okay, like, I'm not gonna play this, the game where you lie. I know that, I, I know that you're not 18, okay? So if you want to have attitude, you in the front, okay? We go about it another way. Simple as that. So if, so if I sense any attitude or you give me lip, we'll do it another way. Okay, how old are you? 14. 14, thank you. Simple, simple question. 14. Four, really 14? Yes, sir. Okay. 14. Okay. 13. Okay. 13, okay. 14? Okay, who is this guy to anybody? Uh, that's our whole news. The officer clearly explains the kids he had saved lives today by pulling over Jeremy. Okay, I probably saved six lives tonight, at least six lives. Okay, I thought you guys were gonna crash around that bend. He's, he's going way too fast. No, yeah. And he's definitely not safe to drive. No, yeah, we told him. We told him. The sergeant calls the kids' parents to explain the situation and asks the parents to pick up their kids. Uh, this is this is Sergeant Lafay with State Police. And your your son along with I'm guessing three, uh, five, uh, five of the other buddies, they were in a they were in a vehicle with somebody who, some man, it's a, it's a, it's a grown adult who has who has no business driving, and so he's out now doing a field sobriety tests, and these kids need to, be, need to be picked up. While the sergeant checks up on the kids, the other officer asks Jeremy to perform a sobriety test to make sure. Yeah. Yeah. You would mind, or would, or you would, you would want to do them. Was it? <laughs> uh, you do you would, mind, you or or do oh, yeah. or would you want to do them? Do you want to do them? Yes or no? I don't really want to. You don't want to do them? No. I don't want to. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna let you know if you don't do the test, I'm gonna have to place you under arrest. Do you want to do the test? All right. Well, let's do the test. Then. I Are you gonna stop the test then? I'll, I'll still, I can still test. Okay, so are you going to continue or are you going to stop right there? I just don't understand this. Um, you're going backwards, you're going eight, I, are you going backwards? I just don't understand the uh, test that you're doing right now. I told you to go forward, remember? From H? From H to S. It's pretty simple. Oh, oh. H. I, J, K, L, M, N, O, T, G, R, S. Cool. All right. I just okay. didn't understand what you wanted. Upon the arrest, the officers didn't even realize how bizarre the situation would end up being. All right, so you're going to be placed under arrest for DWI, okay? Don't forget his phone. Okay. I'll put it. I'll put. I'll put it in the front seat. Let's go over here with, uh, It'll be easier.
in court of law you have the right to talk to a lawyer and have him or her present with you while you're being questioned if you cannot afford to hire a lawyer one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish you can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements do you understand each of these rights as i've explained to you jeremy was charged with driving under influence and six counts of child abuse and multiple times of rape he even got a girl pregnant which later ended in a miscarriage but that's not even all to this story it gets even crazier when Jeremy was placed in jail and tried to contact the victims. The district attorney's office is looking into allegations that a rape suspect is contacting his victim from behind bars. That is what the grandmother of one of the victims is saying about 41-year-old Jeremy Guthrie. News 13's Annalisa Pardo talked to that grandmother today. She's here this evening with details. Well, we have screenshots of messages the grandmother says Guthrie sent her twin granddaughters over Instagram from jail. Now, it's possible someone else may be behind that account, but all of this is still enough for detectives and the DA's office to look into. She sent us these screenshots. She says is Guthrie messaging one of her granddaughters. He asked for money. The grandma says she even asked her granddaughter to send this to see how far he'd go. She told her granddaughter to write, I ran away and asked him to pick her up. He writes back, quote, and how am I supposed to do that when I'm in jail? Through the granddaughter, the grandma asks how he's messaging from jail. Guthrie says he paid to use a guard's phone. The grandma claims he also threatened her granddaughters. She says the messages stopped when the granddaughter wrote police knew he was talking to them. Now we asked MDC how it would be possible for an inmate to do this. A spokesperson says inmates do not have access to social media and they are looking into these accusations. 